Pakistan. So, thank you, Ricard, for being here. Thank you very much for the opportunity to present this research. Uh, in this case, our, this research is performed by Mayo Fuste, uh, Melissa Renaud, that it's here, and then uh, she's going to present a master thesis, uh, really interesting, as uh, David mentioned before. Uh, and finally, me uh, as a senior researcher of, of the group. Uh, this research is, is part of a broader research. Uh, on the one side, uh, last year uh, in Barcelona, uh, there, there was a meeting from 40, more than 40 cities uh, around the world in order to discuss about what is the platform economy impacting their cities and how to manage that and how to create a common vision about that. This is the result of the, the meeting was a declaration of a common principles of the cities in order to try to discuss and to work, indeed, in the work, it's very important, it's not only to discuss, it's also to try to work to, uh, to implement some of the strategies and some politicals in order to change the, the impact or to uh, try to reconfigure a better approach to platform economy. These two principles are from the type of uh, labor uh, issues. On the one side is to take advantage about the, the platform economy to engage people, to try to, uh, as maybe sometimes as, uh, as uh, uh, Giovanna said, uh, to also to try to transform the cooperatives. Here in Barcelona it's especially important because there is a big tradition about cooperativism. Uh, and how to transform this type of cooperative in platform uh, uh, cooperatives. Uh, on the other side is the idea to uh, uh, reinforce... Here? Yeah, it's better? Okay. Sorry. It's uh, only a question of to be a refugee for a research point of view. Uh, in any case, um, can I be? Okay. Uh, the other side, the other, the other approach of labor uh, things is about uh, how to regulate uh, this impact and how to manage the situation of sometimes uh, unfair situation of uh, platform labor workers. Uh, well, the research questions. Uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, the 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 other the other approach to this uh, broader research is about Plus Project. It's a Plus Project is a, 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 a Horizon 2020 project that uh, is focused on the on the impact of platform labor has in urban spaces. Uh, it's a transnational project that it's uh, carried on Barcelona, Bologna, Berlin. Uh, Lisbon, London, Paris, Italy. And one of the pilots of the project is, for example, Fair BNB, that it's trying to reinforce the conditions of, uh, of platform labors in the current uh, main platforms, but at the same time is trying to challenge of this vision of how to increase the number of platform cops. Uh, uh, the research questions in this case, it's, uh, it's uh, the thing that we try to define something that it's uh, uh, very common uh, uh, debate during these days about what are the platform couriers, what are their profile, what are their nationality, motivation, these type of things. Then to speak about the labor conditions, about these couriers. And finally, and this is something that it's related to, to our job as a, a research group, what is the role of uh, public administration? Uh, we, 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 we discovered two lacks uh, of research in this field. Sometimes the, most of the articles created around platform labor is about uh, case, uh, uh, cases, cases uh, uh, um, very concrete. It's sometimes difficult to find uh, uh, a type of research that is interdisciplinary of different cases and, and sometimes uh, there are not uh, um, there is not uh, 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 a transnational approach it's more focused on uh, in a specific countries and we try to create a transnational approach in, in, in this case 
Well, <coughs> the research goals connected to the research questions are to, put, to study the, to define the characterization of the platform couriers, their working conditions, and try, this is, I think, the most interesting part, to define the role of civic society, the research, the public administration. Our quadruple approach, uh, quadruple helix approach is uh, quite significant in order to co-create public policies, and this is what is, uh, I think, the main part of uh, this research. Uh, uh, we, uh, we took advantage about uh, a meeting that it was held in Barcelona uh, this uh, April, uh, where some uh, platform couriers around the world meet in Barcelona in order to discuss and to create a space, I think, also to create a group of task force in order to reinforce the, the capacity to transform their situation of labor uh, altogether. Uh, and also, uh, we also focus on, on Barcelona and how it's managing this type of uh, action uh, from the public policies. And we, uh, we did uh, six interviews to the different actors, uh, taking into account uh, the, the whole profiles. Um, well, these are some conclusions that are very common during these days. Uh, we are sp uh, speaking about an activity that is largely male dominated, uh, with a lot uh, uh, about immigrant communities overrepresented. It's it's quite important to say that uh, the different uh, the different countries have different type of approximations about social demographic structure about platform. Uh, uh, couriers, but some of these uh, ap approaches are very common. It's quite clear that there are two main profiles, a student that uh, wants to earn something complementary incomes uh, regarding to their activity as uh, platform riders. At the same time, uh, a lot of people that are in, in risk because they have a long period of employment uh, or, or sometimes in, uh, even with a not uh, legal uh, um, requirements complete to get into the labor market. Uh, uh, we differentiate two stages uh, in, in terms of social demographic characteristics, as uh, you can read. First, a large represent of studies when, when the, 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 uh, the possibility to earn a complementary income lows, uh, then they start to decrease and to change the, the, the way that they get this uh, uh, extra air money. Uh, the second stage is represented by immigrant people. Some of them don't uh, undocumented, as I said. Um, regarding to the, this is I need my notes. Sorry. Uh, regarding to this map, uh, as uh, we can see in this map, uh, the employment status, the status uh, in all the cities were considered self-employment. Uh, except from Berlin, where uh, are considered uh, employees. In spite of that, when we uh, speak with uh, uh, a courier from Munich, uh, I, I think I said Berlin, but it's Munich, uh, 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 he highlights that the, mon the, the platform it is uh, the, the type of uh, regular. Uh, considering as employees, uh, has contributed to monopolization of the sector and uh, still considers uh, his job conditions as unfair. That it's something that uh, we make think as about if maybe it's not enough uh, to, to be discussed if we are uh, 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 speaking about self-employees or not. Uh, in spite there are different uh, visions about uh, about their uh, labor conditions, uh, we take some uh, common uh, issues about or some common measures uh, from the different riders participants in our research. Uh, taking into consideration that they don't want to challenge the definition as a self-employed workforce, they, they are requesting for a better cycling infrastructure, uh, an increasing of uh, uh, earns, demanding data to be transparent. This is something that is quite uh, 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 important in, in a society and in a space where the data is uh, increasing their value. 
And finally, last, uh, sometimes some couriers are, are asking for a different type of platforms, uh, like uh, Giovanna present as a, a platform COPS. Uh, challenging their definition as a self-employing workforce, uh, they, they request for a better health issues, making riders not able to work as many hours they want, uh, shorting juridical timings, asking for a reclassification of workers as employees, and social protections improvements related to their juridical recognition as employees. Um, uh, related to the working conditions, we have uh, to main groups, one of them related to the employment legal status. As you can see, uh, they, they, they request for a better labor protections to, to reinforce the, the insurance that they are regarding their activity, that it's sometimes very aggressive because they, uh, they, they suffer from robberies, aggressive confrontations, and this type of things that you can read in the, in the screen. Uh, this is something that it's uh, quite transversal, I think, in the platform economy, that it's the, the, the difficulty to create a collective bargaining, uh, to discuss, to concentrate. Yesterday, uh, uh, during the, the dinner, I was speaking with uh, uh, somebody who is going to participate in the, in the caring session this afternoon, that I think it will be amazing, this uh, debate. And this is something that it's not in the media, but it's uh, in our life, it's, it's in, it's, it's very sensitive of our society, that it's something it's uh, sometimes, it's uh, uh, the ghost part of the platform economy. Uh, the, the other thing that uh, they relate uh, to the employment legal status is about the cost of materials needed to perform the job. Related to the role of digital to uh, technologies, that as we mentioned, the light of transparency of data, the, cities, the, the, the system that promotes the, this competition uh, among current and the, the, the ponderation system that favors that uh, the people don't have a real flexibility. This is something that we, we take from our research. Maybe it's something that we need to discuss and, and maybe we could uh, discuss this. Um, finally, uh, uh, we want to uh, highlight uh, about the different uh, interviews that uh, we held uh, in Barcelona about uh, proposals that the experts uh, promote. There are some proposals that are in common, that the multi-governance is needed, that there is not a collaboration between different levels of public administration, that it's something that is really important, but sometimes the competence is not uh, from the city side. And... Uh, in spite of that, the impact of the platform labor impacts really in the urban spaces. Uh, the need for introduction of participatory policy making process in designing public policies, that is something that is really connected to our approach of research. And finally, uh, positive opinions regarding possible universal basic income proposals. Uh, maybe uh, Melissa will uh, explain better before uh, connected uh, with her research. In this agreement, there are some stakeholders that think the platform couriers uh, should be recognized as employees, while others uh, do not. Uh, some proposals, uh, replaying in Spain the sandbox system of uh, United Kingdom that uh, allows live time-bound testing of innovations and the regulations of our, of our site. Also, the promotion of platform cooperatives, as uh, uh, we said before, the restriction of companies uh, of local license to certain requirements, environmental sustainability, fair working conditions, etc. Agreements at a supranational level in order to establish a common framework include the current labor regulations, uh, new indications of labor, elimination of the flat rate for the self-employed workers, and finally the coordination between cities in order to increase bargaining power in front of private insets. This is something that is really important uh, in, in the side of uh, political action, I think. This is some of uh, the main conclusions of our research. Uh, I don't know if I, I have a lot, enough time because uh, I forgot. One minute, okay. Uh, indeed, you have uh, here the description of our conclusions. Uh, I, uh, some, some, some questions asked in order to uh, 
follow then the debate. Uh, some, this is, uh, I think, is something that it's uh, really interesting uh, how some couriers uh, wants to reinforce their the rights, and this is something really connected to the PLUS vision, no? how to reinforce the charter of rights, how to create a new type of relation about uh, uh, lay, uh, platform labors and, and, uh, and the platforms. To the other side, the creation of new types of, uh, of uh, structures, more connected to the platform comp, and a lot of challenge that uh, Giovanna mentioned before, that these type of models have in order to scale, to, to get the connection in each city, uh, even we are speaking uh, uh, in, a, in a global context. Okay, and finally, uh, as you know, this is, a, this is a broader research that we are managing in order to diffuse, uh, to expansion the, the different type of model that there are beyond the, the platform economy. Uh, we, this year we are going to create a big debate about labor uh, linked to the PLUS project. Uh, this is, today is the last date uh, for proposals, but you are invited to participate. And if you have a, a very special proposal you, and you want to present there, please let me know and we try to, to meet there. Thank you.